so if you go on your think if you've created your Tinkercad account, you go to circuits, and then if you click on circuits, you can click on create a new circuit. Now it works on a drag and drop basis. So you'll see on on this side, I'll have all my um, components. Go and grab the LED. You can put the LED anywhere, and this is a bit of a bigger. You can change the color as well. Say I want to make it green. You can make it a green LED. And then you need to power the LED. So I'll put a, a, a 9 volt battery on, on there as well. Now, LEDs can't work with a 9 volt battery because um, a LED only needs about 4.5 volts. So see what happens if I. Um, so the positive needs to go to the positive leg, the anode, and the negative needs to go to the negative. And if I simulate it, look what happens to my LED. It, it breaks because it's too much power that I'm putting onto it. So it's, it's putting too much in electricity in it. So what you need to do is, and that's what we we're going to talk about next time as well, you need to put a resistor in, okay? With resistors are normally, um, if you click on the resistor, uh, they are measured in ohm. Ohm is just the, in the Greek alphabet, uh, omega, the first letter in the Greek alphabet. And that's where they got that symbol from. That one there looks like a horseshoe. And then we'll just put in 390. That's a good resistor to use. And then if I do another wire, then from there to there, and now I simulate it, it will work. Okay. So it's, a, it's kind of an interface or a real-life interface where you can test circuits and build circuits on. And it's free to use. And... It's better to test something on here and make it work, and then you can go from here and do the, the real the actual circuit. Okay, so um, to get rid of stuff, you just click on the component and then go to that little bin there on the top, and it gets rid of the stuff. So if I want to get rid of all that stuff that I've done now, you can just click on that little bin and it gets rid of everything. Now with this guy, um, we're going to, when you... Um, start using this there's already a program on pin 13 so see that 13 there and then there's a ground now in electronics sometimes we call negative ground as well uh, when next time when you get your little booklet as well all of this will be in your booklet um, so don't worry if you don't get it exactly now you can just go back to your booklet so if I go um, with my LED and I want to put it in there I'll grab the LED quickly so I know that right leg is the positive and the left leg is the negative. So I'll go and put the positive in 13 and the negative in ground. And then if I simulate it, um, it's got a flashing program already on it. So my LED will just start flashing. Can you guys see it just flash on and off? Okay, so if you go to the code on this side, you stop the simulation. That is also a drag and drop um, thing that you can use. So at the moment, it says, yeah, you, if you read it, it kind of makes sense a little bit. It says, um, set building LED or pin 13 to high, and high is just another word for on. Um, and then it waits one second, and then it sets the um, LED to low, which switches it off, and then it waits one second. And then it will repeat the program the whole time. And that's why if I do the simulation, that will happen. Okay. Now, the cool thing is you can change it. You can go here and make it 10, for instance, and make that one 10 as well. And if you simulate it now, it will just flash slower because it waits a little bit longer. So it flashes on, and it waits 10 seconds, and it flashes off again. Okay, so um, this is just a simple, that's why you need to have your device here so we can play around with this. It's, it's not very difficult because you can just... Um, like I say, you just grab components and put them on there. And if you want to test them, you just do the simulation. So you can test certain things and how they work for you. So um, LED and the resistor. Um, the resistor's job is to kind of limit a little bit of electricity. It's like a tap that's not fully open. So a resistor is like, say you've got water going through a tap and you don't open it fully. A resistor is almost like that. The best way to understand electricity, because you can't see electricity. You can see lightning, uh, but you can see the effect of electricity. I can see the light, but I don't see if you look at a wire, you don't know if there's electricity there, or you can't see electricity itself. So um, if you think of water, it's a good um, 
simulation of electricity. If you, most of the things that works with water works on electricity as well. Okay, so um, you'll see in most books or if you go on the internet, they compare a lot of electricity with, with water. Like, for instance, if I want to get electricity from here to the back of the class, I have to put it in a wire. The same with water. If I've got a tank of water here and I want to um, put some water on a plant in the corner of the back of the class, I need to have a hose pipe. So electricity needs a pipe to go into. Okay, so um, the resistor is basically, yeah, it's, it limits, but it doesn't stop all of the power. It just stops a little bit of the power. So you can use the resistor like a little traffic cop in your circuit to stop some of the electricity. And it can do some, and then your LED can be your output component. Okay. Um, so what you've got here, it's like a Word document. Most of these things work the same as a Word document. You've got your tools on the top, and here's just a place where you can put the circuit in. But there's examples, so you can just go to examples, basics, and then that blink one that I showed you now is on here as well, so that blink, and then it comes, it opens a circuit for you. This is kind of um, how the computer talks to, how these chips understand it. So it doesn't always make sense for us. Um, I'll just see, it doesn't want to go too big, but it says, for instance, digital right late 13 high, delay 1,000, digital right 13 low. So it's not normally how we speak, so it's kind of a little bit um, uh, more computer type language. But if you go back to that program that I've shown you, it's easier to just grab um, the code. If you've got the code there, you, you, this is also drag and drop, so you can drag commands in there and drag and drop them in. And then if you download the code, it opens it already and it converts it from this, from these easy to understand sentences to, um, to that code that's on the programming editor. So it's really, if you work on this and you listen, it, it becomes not that difficult. You can, um, so they converted the program for me into the right language. So it's like a translator. They translate it from these sentences that's in blocks just to a uh, programming language, okay? So if you, but that's what we're probably gonna start doing. We're gonna start programming with this. You just grab these blocks and put them there, but I'll show you how to do that as well. And then we'll simulate it to test it. And then we'll see, you know, after that, if we can put it on here and then program it and then see how it works in real life. But it's cool, you can kind of see how it will work here before you work with it in real life. Okay, so that's all about the software and uh, LED and